Your empire dominates all. Could you rival the gods themselves? I think not. Fool. <laughs> Well then, um, the treachery in Sench has happened. A Lord of Change, the servant of Chaos God Sench, has emerged to challenge Archeon's position as the Ever Chosen. And, uh, well, I believe absolutely no one is surprised by this. However, I have come prepared, and um, <laughs> I think the balance of power might indicate a slight, ever so slight, favouring of uh, Archeon in this battle we might have some issues with the Empire trying to capitalize on the um, infighting, I suppose, among the Chaos forces in Kislev at this point. I've also, I'm, I believe, made a, somewhat of an error in judgment, willingness to defend personal matter now for the most trusted ally, Kmar the Grim, uh, now that that, um, that uh, Karl Franz has been defeated. Um, so they, like I said, they are taking this a touch, a touch personally. But um, you know, there is not much we can do about that. Um, so they did send, uh, I believe, two full stacks and a few smaller armies up here in the north to try and defeat me. This is not going to work all too well for them, I don't think, but... Uh, alas, alack, it is what it is. Um, now, you see, in the actual battle, the balance of power is somewhat, um... Somewhat not favouring me all that much, but, uh, I believe when we actually close to melee, that that will change significantly enough. The only thing that does frighten me a little bit is the hell cannons in the rear and I cannot stress enough just how powerful such a weapon is or such weapons are I suppose at, uh, at this point but regardless um, That 
you are. Let's see if uh, casting a few spells on them will uh, at least stop them from firing a few shells, probably, due to the shock and, and the damage and all that. But you never know. Um, anyways, if you take a look, these are the stats of the Chaos Spawn. Um, they have more weapon strength than the Chosen, but um, that is nowhere near enough um, to present a challenge to the Chosen, let alone anything else, um, and the Chaos Trolls as well heavily underpowered compared to my heavy infantry, so... Um, let's hand out targets like so. The halberdiers were, um... Well, they were made for killing the Chaos Giant. Um, well... Not really. They were made for killing, like, steam tanks and stuff like that, because they have armor piercing. Um, and the... The giant does not have much in the way of armor, but regardless of this, difference, I suppose we can call it, um, still do our very best, and um, here I suppose is another uh, symbolic fight against the agent of uh, the Lord of Change here, Sarathel. It's not much of a fight though, he is only a wizard and uh, has no capabilities whatsoever when it comes to fighting in melee or at the very least has very little of the aforementioned and we've already wounded him um, no, though it says wounded I believe we have killed him I'm not sure that he will come back a bit of damage on those. And uh, the halberds, like I said, a unit quite literally made for killing the giant has uh, done so quite easily. And uh, not only that, but they are easily capable of taking on another one, most likely. Uh, not at the same time, but they can take on two quite easily. And that was the enemy army. Um, this was supposed to be the chaos equivalent of a end game crisis, right? Of a chaos invasion. Um, obviously, as a chaos faction, you don't have a chaos invasion. You are the chaos invasion, but. Uh, this was supposed to be the end game crisis. One lord. Um, I think he recruits help at some point. I think he knows how to do that. Um, if you leave him, shall we say, unattended. But, uh, yeah, he will not be recruiting anything anytime soon, I'm afraid. Just kill a few if you can. Alright. A decisive battle. Easily won. 
Right, here we go then. Oh, we've only lost 71 men. Quite a uh, embarrassing defeat. And we're going to sacrifice the captives. And there we go. The Lord of Change lies broken at Archeon's feet. The latest in a long tally of, conqueror, of conquered challengers. The final gambit of the Chaos God, Tsench, has come to naught. Or was this his plan all along? Now even the Great Deceiver must proclaim Archeon the rightful ever chosen, anointed of all the Dark Gods. His is the right to drive the hordes like an iron fist, to smash civilization asunder. All hail the ever chosen, Lord of the End Times. Um, you, you, you say that, but there is there is a chaos gathering there that uh, still defies me. And what exactly is this? Oh, this is a Skaven uprising. Why is he dancing like that? Quite, quite peculiar, yes. But they are. They will try and take over the Helpid, and I will let them do that. Uh, because I have better things to worry about. Meal, essentially, and uh, while you're at it, let me replenish my soldiers. Good. Well, all things considered, I believe Fort Ostrock will be next. That said, however, it is time to level up once again. And what shall we take? I think Devastating Charge was is alright. Um, and we can't get a temple to the aforementioned Chaos God now, unfortunately. But... We will probably have to fight Boris Todbringer, and he has a mighty army. But I think I can defeat it. Let's see what happens. Focus instead on something else. But what I think the Empire will do more likely is try and, uh, and just go for me, rather than... Hmm. Oh yes, and they did take the tower over here as well, and burn down the Bay of Blades. Interesting. Where did he come from? Ah, there goes Boris. Interesting, decided not to fight me. <coughs> oh, my apologies. Huh. Well... I believe he just signed a part of his own death warrant. Though not immediately. Um, first of all, you must die. No, there's no running away from it. You can dread it, you can fear it, but uh, death comes nonetheless. And I will sacrifice all the captives once again. And then the help it. So, there's a good chance that... Uh, that Boris will come and try and save the help it from its inevitable demise. But if such a thing does happen, 
try and assault his units at all. Ah, damn it. That would have helped. That would have helped with the with the upcoming battle, but nonetheless. Um, this is this is all right. Though I do need the crown of domination. This is another chosen of Tench. Damn, I mean, the Lord of Change keeps challenging me. And that is not something I, uh. I'm not particularly a supporter of. Ooh, however, there will be an in the hell pit. I think this very turn. And that might actually help me. Right, there will be a rebellion, right? Yeah. Oh, now is the time to attack the Bay of Blades if anyone um, is around to do it. Probably not, though. But I will get to them. They're basically migrating away from me at this stage. And I will get uh, Kolek, the Sun Eater, as well, very soon. The Wood Elves want a non-aggression pact with me, don't know. I mean, I won't attack you yet, simply because you're out of range. Now that's interesting. Boris didn't bother. Why did I raise? I don't need any... Well, I need a bit of growth, I suppose. So that's fair enough. But yeah, Boris didn't... Uh, And wounded in the attempt. Oh well. Hmm. Well, not much we can do about that. Let's uh, get the temple going and uh, go to Fort Strakhov next, I think. I need to clear all of this out before I can head on north again and uh, deal with those problems. Ooh, reinforcements. Interesting. But I desperately need a second army. <laughs> I think I just need to have one around, um, just for the sake of having it. I don't think I'm going to recruit it like this turn, probably. Let's encamp, and um, we need 9,000 for this, and then let's recruit Colex Sun Eater once again. He joins the fray. Oh, the, uh, well, yeah, of course, the, the upgrades don't carry over. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I'm a bit late on the second one, but not that it matters. We've had our fun. And the uh, spawning armies have more than made up for not having a second army around, so... In all due honesty, I'm... Uh, I'm happy with the outcome here. I wonder if Boris might um, see Kolek as a potential target here and, and try and do something. Probably not, because Empire is one of the first to uh, to go, isn't it? Ooh, except I'm not going to do this. Um, 
Yeah. The reason I'm not going to do it is I need Colec to attack. And the reason I need Colec to attack is uh, so that he can raise it. Earn some equipment, but more importantly... Earn a level, and um, so that he can get buffed as well. Mm, would recruitment cost do even anything at this stage? Probably not. Ambush defense isn't the worst thing ever. Let's go with income from raiding, because we might raid somewhere at some point. Now, what do I need for Sigwald? Oh yeah, Awaken for Norsecan tribes, yeah. Unlikely to happen anytime soon. Let's get a gathering. We'll get a gathering even then, uh... Then we'll discuss recruiting things. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Elben. I know Volkmar's around somewhere here, and I wouldn't like to fight him with Boris as his reinforcements, but, uh... Well... No, actually, Volkmar's over there, or all the way over there. That's, um... Norden just got looted too, yeah? We are sowing chaos. Both literally and metaphorically. Everywhere. Let's, um, let's attack Boris Stodbringer. Ooh, four turns of holdout. Interesting. I see no reason to, uh... to attack Boris unless this guy force marches over here. Literally no reason. But we can, if need be. Because we can beat most of this in a fair fight. And the Hellstorm rockets will probably be at least somewhat obstructed by the actual garrison. But yeah, I see this there is potential here, essentially. Did someone re-garrison Prague again? Jesus, what are you doing? This is why I need more armies everywhere. You just assault my units of, of whom? Oh, of Colec, alright, that doesn't matter. I thought you did it to Archeon and I was about to be slightly irritated. <laughs> alright. But, tell you what, I think this is where we're gonna call it. Um, most likely as, um... Well, we've done quite a bit. And I think. Did you just lose to the army in Prague? Probably. Um, but, like I said, there is. Well, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. This would be a cool battle, and it is a legendary lord. Well, no, it isn't, but it should be a legendary lord. 
um, rank 13 to mm, I don't know I'll think about it but um, certainly we'll do it next time we'll come to the decision of what to do until then have fun take care and uh, bye bye